So hi guys and welcome to another video. I'm going to be starting booktube a in like, wait, in like less than 10 minutes. Um, I guess I just wanted to like do like an introduction video or something. I know I look like a shit. This is how I, this is my natural look, but I really don't care. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm sorry if you are not like into cursing. I'm sorry. Okay, hi guys again. So this is day one officially. It's 12.01 and uh, booktube a has already begun. And for my first book, I'm going to be reading Peter Pan. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the correct way because it's probably like, you know, mirrored. But whatever. I'm going to be reading Peter Pan for my first read. And I'm really excited. This is for the book older than me uh, challenge. And I'm really excited. It's not that long. So let's see how far I get into today um, or tonight. And we'll just see what happens. So, yeah. Hello again, it's still day one of Booktubeathon and I just finished Peter Pan by G.M. Barry and I cried. <laughs> I was not expecting to cry. The book is beautiful. It was the first time reading it and I think I'm going to rate it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads to be honest. But other than that, I really, really loved it. I had a hard time getting into it for like the first few pages but after it, it was just... I flew by it. I really loved it and now I'm going to read my second book which I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to read. Um, I guess I could read Stars Above or something and then when nights, when you know when it gets to sunset I'll probably read Ms. Marvel so I just I could just get that out of the way and just knock two challenges off. So hi and welcome it's day two. The book to song is right now 12.10 and I just finished Ms. Marvel volume 3. And it's called Crushed and I loved it. This was my yellow book challenge because it has yellow on it and it was also the book to read only at night or at sunset so I did that already and now I think I'm gonna go ahead and read Stars Above by Marissa Meyer which is my favorite author challenge so I already completed three challenges because I finished Peter Pan earlier today or yesterday and I'm so excited to read this. I actually read a few chapters already of, um, not a few chapters, I read uh, two of the novellas before it was a bind up. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna, re I'm probably gonna reread that, reread those short stories, and then I'm just going to continue. But who knows? I'm really excited to read this. Um, I, I don't know if I'm doing the video challenges, maybe, perhaps, I don't know. I probably might have if you're watching this. If not, then whatever but yes I'm excited so let's see what book to put on day two brings so hi um I finished I th this is my update I don't even know what time is it I think it's like two in the morning or something and I managed to read about 200 no not 200 121 pages of stars above Marisa Meyer I read if I'm not mistaken I read three short stories from this and I'm currently really loving it um, I'm flying through it to be honest, but right now I'm just really tired. Um, so I'm gonna stop reading, I'm gonna go to sleep, and then hopefully when I wake up I'll just kind of stop procrastinating because today, or well, yesterday I kind of procrastinated. I should have like finished Peter Pan earlier, but I didn't. Either way, I am going to try to finish this tomorrow afternoon-ish. So, it's still day two, the book to I'm going home. It's raining. I went to see Tar The Legend of Tarzan because I really wanted to watch it. I went by myself. And yeah. So right now, I'm heading home. I am soaking wet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go home. Well, actually I'm going home already, but when I get home, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read, read, read. Okay, the real reason why I was, I, I kind of caught that clip was because there was someone watching me. It felt weird and awkward. But yeah, so once I get home, I'm going to start reading. Once I get off my wet clothes, I'll start reading again. Hopefully I'll finish Stars Above tonight and then start on my next book. I need to hurry because it's starting to rain a little harder. Holy shit, okay, okay, bye. So hi and welcome to another update video or vlog. I don't, I don't even know where these are. They, bleh, I'm not even know what I'm saying. Um, welcome to another vlog update. Um, so it's officially day three of the. I have something on my eye. Sorry, it's officially day three of the Booktubeathon, and it's currently twelve forty-seven in the morning. And I just finished 
stars above Marisa Meyer and oh my god I loved it I loved it the epilogue was everything to me like I I actually shed a few tears um this is basically a collection of short stories of the Lunar Chronicles if you have not read that please do because it's amazing um I've read I think I've read three of the short stories that there were here before but I didn't mind reading them again I really really enjoy them I don't know I just I just loved it a lot and the epilogue is epic the epilogue is everything and I had no I had no idea that I missed like the characters of this of this books so yeah Captain Thorn is like my favorite character in this whole entire universe like oh my god well I, well I have a lot of favorite characters but just Captain Thorn in this one is just oh my god I just love him, okay? He reminds me of Jack Sparrow, so maybe that's why I love him a lot. Yeah, right now, so this completes the challenge of favorite author. So I already completed four challenges out of the seven, so I need to complete three. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to read next. I think I'm going to get a, a head start on um, uh, Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. And yeah, or maybe I'll read Zenith. So I don't know. We shall see what happens, and I'll tell you what happens in my other update when I do that later on I don't even know where to look I'm looking at myself on the screen or I'm looking at here yeah okay I'll see you guys later hello it's day three of the booktubeathon and it's currently 502 at in the afternoon and I have not read anything since like this morning or early morning I guess um I finished stars above last night or early in the morning like a little bit um earlier than not earlier, I think I finished it like a 12 ish or something, but I finished it. And then I started, um, I said I was gonna read a Monster Calls or Zenith, and I decided to go with a Monster Calls because I said, why not? And I only read, according to this, I read like, what is it? Yeah, about 20 pages. Um, let's just say I got really creeped out by one of the pictures in this. It was just creepy. And it was already night, so yeah. Um, I have not read anything until like only this 20 pages, but I will, I'm, I was actually going to sit down and read. <gasps> but the thing is, I got really sidetracked because um, there was an announcement of on the My Chemical Romance social media. And if you guys do not know, My Chemical Romance is one of my favorite, favorite bands of all time. And they broke up on the 13th of March of 2013. And now, uh, apparently, they're gonna come back or something. I have no idea what's gonna happen, actually. But that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and read this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, so, update. Um, I don't know what time it is. Um, I just finished a monster calls and I'm crying. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, it was beautiful, and, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it it was beautiful engaging um i did not i mean i guess i expected to cry but i mean i knew it was gonna happen it's just i, I don't even know what to say um let me see what time it is because i just can't okay so it's 7 41 p.m right now um i don't know if i'm gonna start another book i need to recover myself because after this it's just just need time um but yeah um i'll tell you if i read something else later hello and welcome to another update um so it's 10 40 something 10 46 or 47 and i'm about to start the choice by nicholas sparks which is my book to movie adaptation challenge i guess you could say and i'm excited i'm scared um, cause I don't know how long this is gonna take me, it depends really. But yeah, I'm about to start that and see what happens. And then later, if everything goes well, I'll start reading Zenith by Sasha Augsburg and Lindsay Cummins. And hopefully that will be like my, like six books, apparently. And if I have time, I think, cause I didn't say this in my TBR. I said that I was probably gonna pick some other book up if I had time. Um, I'm probably wanting to read everything everything by Nicola Yoon um the casting uh we received casting news today and I'm really excited about that so yeah we shall see what what that if if that's what I I don't know plan to read 
Um, it can change again. I really don't know. I'm really wanting to reread November 9 with Colleen Hoover for some reason. Um, but yeah, we shall see what happens really. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hello, it's day four of the Booktubeathon and I'm about to go out to do some adult things. Last night I didn't update you in anything because I fell asleep. You can see me vlogging right there. Um, awkward. Um, <laughs> um, I, I read 46% of the choice last night and then I fell asleep. So I'm almost halfway through the choice. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I kind of like it. But, um, I don't know, it's very different from the movie, that's for sure. But I'm enjoying it so far, not loving it, but I'm enjoying it. So let's see what happens on the other half of the story. And then I'm gonna watch the movie today, cause let's face it, I am dying to watch the movie. <laughs> so yeah, I'll check up with you guys later after I'm done doing my little things and then reading and stuff, so bye. So hi, another update for today. I did my adult things and I was disappointed today, I cried because my chemical romance is not getting back together. But apart from that, um, I finished the choice just like a literally like less than 10 minutes ago and I'm about to watch the movie and I'm so excited. So I've read five books and I'm so excited. So hi and welcome to another update. Right now it's officially day five of the Booktubeathon and I finished reading the choice and I watched the movie I actually just finished watching the movie, so yeah, I even I also blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so so far I read five books on the book to be fine, and I'm currently or actually I'm going to I don't know if I'm going to start it right now or tomorrow. I'm going to start Zenith by Sasha Aldsberg and Lindsay Cummings, which pretty much a lot of the booktube already knows what the book is about. It's about pirates, space pirates, and that's really all that I know. Hi and welcome to another update. Um, it's currently 2.10 in the afternoon and I last night I finished Zenith actually so yay six books six books. I'm currently reading my seventh book and I did start Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon and I am really loving it as of right now. Um, it's really fast paced actually, so I'm really excited that I might finish this today. So hi and welcome to another update. Today is day 6 of Booktubeathon and it's currently 11pm and I know I didn't update anything today. Or yeah, I didn't update anything today. Um, it's been a really long day. Um, I had a rough night <laughs> slash morning today. Uh, cause I was out yesterday night and this morning was horrible so I did not re I didn't really read anything today. Um, so I only read last night or yesterday, um, 78 pages of Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. And so far I'm really liking it. Uh, right now I'm gonna get ready for bed or just, you know, changed because I've been out with friends today. And so I'm gonna keep reading this and this is my seventh book. So this will be like the last, um, book. That I read for the book to be on. Hopefully, if not, I will call it a success because I completed most of the challenges anyway. And yeah, I'm really happy because I completed most of my TBR. I look like crap, but doesn't matter. Let's be real here. Um, so hi, welcome to the last day of the book to be on. It's day seven, day seven, and I just finished my seventh book, and that is Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. Which, by the way, I really enjoyed. I, I mean, I, I don't know why I'm surprised. A lot of people love this book. But um, I'm impressed or kind of surprised that I liked it. I'll tell you all my thoughts about this book on my July wrap-up, which will be up, I think, next week or next weekend. I, I'm so proud of myself. I read a lot. Like, I think I read a total of 1,500 something pages. This is the end of Booktubeathon. I had a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in another well done video or not less vloggy video. So, yes. Bye! Oh, give you the. The. Uh, the. <laughs> Ow. Ow. And. Give. give. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>